wow, that was something else. <laughs> well, that was an embarrassing shot straight off the tee. Off turn of nine. 377 metres, we've only driven at 41 metres. I've got 236 left, going with a four iron. Flag's just behind those trees there. See if I can get it up over the creek. Everywhere. Oh, hey, ducks. Oh, hey, ducks. That's for bogey. hole number 10. Good. Hey, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, good to be here. I hope the summer's doing you well. Uh, it's the 23rd of December today, down here at Marlborough Golf Club in Fairhall. Excited to be here down in Marlborough and Blenheim. Come home for the holidays, see what their golf courses are like. I haven't been on them yet, even though I grew up here. So see what we can shoot and uh, have fun doing it. Okay, so we're here, hole 11, 375 from the whites. Look, it even gives you a some helpful advice, a tee shot on the left, left hand side of the fairway will take the large tree out of play for your approach to the green, beware of the sloping ground, feeding to the creek and hazard on the right. Well that's good for people that haven't been here before, like me. <laughs> so, going for the left hand side of the fairway. That's better. Off to the left, All right though. Down the little mound, so hopefully we've got a look at the green without tree trouble and without hazard trouble. So I'm ready, my game is a bit off. Mind you, I haven't been on a course, I've been on a course once in the last 11 months since January, so we're well, coming up to day 12 months. I'm trying to get back into it and see if I can start hitting them a bit better than what I have been right now. As we get around, we'll do nine holes today and uh, see if we can shoot better than I think I think today my goal would be to at least be in the 90s he's hoping so we've got 180 ish meters I need to go up and over and so I've sliced it around that tree because I don't have a drawer in the bag so I'm gonna take a five iron this is gonna I think do one of two things I'm either gonna slice it right and make it nearly to the green or I'm gonna carve it straight into the uh, vineyard <laughs> Right there. Roll up, roll up. We're short of the green, maybe 10 meters. So, so here we are, just short of the green by about five meters, which is great. So we'll chip up, see if we can get it in for par. Second, first hole. Okay, coming back, came back on the second. Woohoo! Massive. Got a bit ahead of myself on that one. That was a par. It's still fantastic. Loving the pars. Like a birdie, but maybe on this one. So this one we got hole 12, par 5, 414 from the wipes. Short par 5 position you drive with care short of the creek. Ooh. Danger both left and right. Uh oh, straight tee shot will leave a careful position second for a short chip to 
to a raised green. Short, yes, but tricky. So we've got the driver in hand, aiming pointed. Aim for the right side of those trees there, cut the corner a little bit. See if my aiming can stay on point, or get on point. I'll hit it straight. Oh, you would. It's not right. I didn't see a bounce, but I think I'm off the right fair, back on fairway 11. Okay, so for anyone that's played this course before, you'll know what I just did, and you'll be going, what the heck are you doing? Now, a couple of pieces of advice. If you've come to a course that you don't know and never been on, grab a scorecard. Grab a scorecard. Read the map and follow it. I hit that way. Now, why over the knob I did that, I feel like it's such a knob. The blue tees are right here. And the fairway is that way. I just hit off the back of the tee box back to 11. Ooh. <sighs> yeah. Follow the map. Now, let's see if I can do this properly this time. <laughs> That's a job, eh? Through the trees. Good. Okay. Oh, it tells me got major tree trouble. Gonna find out. Luckily, we bounced out just short of the hazard. One mile our way. We take a six zero. I don't know where I'm going. Get out of the tree. I think people want to go swimming today. Okay, so we've got 79 metres in. Lost another ball, had to take another drop. Should have bought my bag with balls out and said I'm a good one. First time on this course, so... I guess that's what you get when you hit the wrong way off the tee. Punishment. <laughs> oh, wrong way. Went left. Stay on. No, it's not. Well, after that, if my math is right, which it, no, not always is, that was a nine, which is shocking. Um, two lost balls, two drops, adds up when you hit it the wrong way off the tee. Hit it the right way next time, dude. Yeah. Anyway, we made it the hole 13. There's a par three. 109 meters off the whites. Don't take this par three too lightly. Two deep bunkers. Guard anything short that spins back off the green. Well, nothing's spinning today. No easy up and downs around this firm putting surface. Brilliant. Golly! Some cool use of some old sticks there. <laughs> Little memorial for them.
are up here, hole 14, par 4, 307 from the whites. Long and straight brings birdie into play. Oh, might have to aim left to get my slice a bit of play. Anything else in big numbers can be made on this great par 4. Good distance control is required on approach to get it close to the pin on this green. Stay in play. Stay in play. Okay, next door to the vineyard. Look at this, even bounce back onto the fairway, just on the edge. <laughs> How cool is that? They say it's better to be lucky than good sometimes. All right, 155 meters, seven iron at hand. Let's uh, see if we don't hit anybody. <laughs> Is that there or is that too far? Oh! Not sure, I think it might have been too far. Again, in saying that, I do have a rangefinder now, which I've never, I never had before. This is the first time using it. So I guess my numbers are a lot different than what I thought. <laughs> Hole 15, par 5, 473 from the Whites. Creek out there. Oh, right there. Long par 5 that requires a tee shot down the left side of the fairway. <laughs> when the wind is at your back, you may think about getting home in two, but generally three shot hole for the green given the narrow target. I'm right, I think it just sat right behind one of those trees. Um, yeah, what are we going to do here? Alright, I'm going to have to go for the hero shot with a Mizuno. See if I can do a low stinger. Thing, but it did hit a tree. Don't know if it made it through, I didn't see it come out. So we hit this tree here, I can't find the ball, so I've taken a, a drop there. For 196, I'm going to take a four iron, see if I can get it up to the green, up to the flag. Probably have about 166 to the flag now. 137 into the pin, take an 8 iron, and get it on the green. Oh. Was I facing that way? Off to the left. Either seven or eight. I'll have to tally it up, it'll be up on the screen there somewhere down there. Okay, so hole 16, par 3, 179 from the whites. A long par 3 with a hollow just short of the green. The tee shot will need to carry or run through the hollow to a long narrow green. And the pin is tucked up on the right hand side there. So I think for the middle of the green, maybe it'll fade back in. Didn't believe it. My 
aim less than a wing left. Golly. Okay, just found myself behind this tree here. So you're going to have to go under it because the pin's right there. So you're going to bump and run seven iron. Move, 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 move. Nope. Right. You go right at the pin, coming down. Slightly. Yeah, we're so slightly. No, that was a little bit too far right. Put the wrong side of that ridge. Well, that's on for three. That's on for par. So let's make a bogey out of that one. Oh. Double bogey on a par three, come on dude. This may be the last hole, running out of battery here, it's about to die. Uh, hole 17, par four, 277 meters. Short par four with a dog leg right to the green. You may elect to lay out for a mid on the green, alternatively fade to drive through the dog leg to leave a short wedge to the green. Okie dokie then, let's go for it. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last hole, so glad you could join us. Right, so we made it past the tree, but let's have a good. Okay, we made it past the tree, 54 metres out, wedge in hand. Poor shot. <laughs> Racing too much to beat the camera. Also guys, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel, help me out here. Love this to be a day job, not just a part time thing. And uh, we'll probably see you on the next T box. Oh, oh, I just brushed it. That was supposed to go in for the video. Oh. That was supposed to go in. Never mind. Okay, hole 18, par 4, 359 from the whites. Don't risk being too brave, there's the expense of good round trees on the right, create dog leg right, creep and creep up on you quickly. The approach is to an unsunken, a sunken green, a test fishing hole. Yeah, well, and there's a road on the right, so that's uh, my danger. <laughs> but I'm going to go for it, because I don't really want to lay up. Driver in hand, aiming for the little shed over there, in case I fly through here, into the wind. Get it up there. Not fading, it's not flashing, but it's fading. Perfect. That should be in the middle of the fairway. <laughs> nice. So here the battery died after a 238 meter drive, leaving me 121 in. I took a solid 99 onto the green. Uh, one putt for par, which uh, finished us off at 15 over through 9, which is pretty good for me, considering it's the second time I've been on a golf course in 12 months. <laughs> and thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you on the next tee box. Kaki te.